All right, good evening once again. Um, all right, so I have made a lot of progress on the drip application, um, moving from like um, vanilla JS to React. Um, so I'm gonna just document what I have so far. So first of all, this is how I'm structuring the um, uh, the files and folders. So this is basically um, create React app. Then I just moved a few things around. So first, see, I have a components folder, and in each and in, inside there, each component has their own folder, and then they have an index at JSX. Um, I have a folder for functions, hooks, and pages, and then for routing. So just a basic React router, and then for store. So this one, uh, I stole some from an old bootcamp of mine. It's pretty pretty nice actually so it's just centralizing all the uh the state variables makes it uh, nice and easy to handle okay so so this is uh the home page that i was shown before so i'm just going to literally lay out components in just uh in just a row and just keep it really simple so or in just a single column to keep it really simple um so we have our nav uh components so i started working on it so the nav works similar to what we had before. Um, I don't have a before and after right now, but let me just walk you through it. So this is all Bootstrap 5. So we'll click on here. We have the loaded profiles. So let's choose one. Profile test. So I'm going to change this behavior so I can choose a profile by default. Perhaps the first one in the list. We can still add or remove profiles. So I'm, I'm not using the uh, modal anymore. I'm just using... Um, you know this little um, component that I created. Uh, still, I still need to kind of clean it up. I'm, I'm going to change these buttons off for icons. I have um, Bootstrap icons installed, so I just need to figure out which ones I want to go. But I'm just working on functionality first. So you can open and close it. Um, you can add a new one. So, so look, so look what happens. Okay, so I just have I have the logic to test if the profile already exists. Right here we have some output, um, and then let's see application. Here's the profile, um, uh, local storage item. So you can see the profiles already is um, some some demo stuff already in there. So let's do t tests. I can add it. So this is one of the issues I was having with the older project. To add reactivity like this, would you have to um, manually re-render a lot of stuff? So um, it, React just kind of takes care of that for me. So we can also add remove, uh, we can also just remove them from the list like that. Um, we'll go to local storage. I created a bunch of functions to do this. So this is the initial um, load. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that. So let me just make that a little bigger. And Okay, so this is the initial load. So I have like a use effect here. Um, my God, I was running into like a bunch of um, uh, infinite loops because this one does call uh, set state. Um, so I just had this add, added this like additional conditional right here to check if the profiles were null because this is supposed to be the first one, the like the equivalent to unload. And inside here. I have a bunch of functions that handle different things. So toggle add profile, that's that function right there. So I, I can toggle that um, function from anywhere in the code because it's all central to my um, my actions. Uh, load profile right here. This is a, this has been a pain in the ass. Um, I tried to set the uh, the dependency array, but it just wasn't working. I'm not sure what I was doing wrong. React is, you know, a little difficult sometimes to, to pinpoint what the issue is. So we got save profile, similar to load profile. Um, all right, so I, I, just, I do a couple of catches in here. Well, not catches, but just conditionals to check, and I'll I'll put some stuff to the log of the console rather. Remove profile, set current profile. So we can set current profile, that's this function right here. Um, 
So that's mostly it for now. The next step will be, now that we have um, this working, the next step will be to implement that um, ticker search field. Why are you going in and out of focus? Ah, okay, let's not focus on that. Um, yeah, the next step will be add to, uh, to add the ticker search field right here like we were doing before. And I want to get the regex right this time. I, that's the term I was looking for. The last video was regex. We need to just make sure they're matching properly. The first letters and not just any substring. Um, but yeah, that's it for this um, video. Um, I'm going to keep working on this every weekend. And, you know, in a couple of weeks, we'll have some something um, that everybody can access. So, peace for now. Bye.